In this video, we'll solve problems in bulk modulus. Bulk modulus is, pe is peculiar to fluids. In this video, in this my video, I explained what bulk modulus is and some other important factors that you really need to learn. It is good if you, very, very good if you check this video. Now, let's solve this problem. A solid sphere has this volume, so we know the original volume. So because it is dropped in an ocean, the, there is a change in pressure and the bulk modulus. The bulk modulus is given as this. The minus P. In that video, in this video, I explained what the negative sign means. So it is advisable that you watch that video. The negative sign shows that the volume, as the pressure increases, the volume decreases. So this change in volume is a decrease. It deals with compression. Now, this question, we, we need to find the decrease in volume. So we are basically looking for the delta V. So to make delta V the subject of the formula, or this formula, we can still rewrite this formula in this case minus delta p upon delta v v naught delta p which is the change in pressure for some question is basically about the change in the pressure from the point where there is no pressure on the liquid to the point where there is pressure and it's the same as the minus volume stress minus volume stress upon the volume strain the volume strain all right so to, if we make delta v the subject of the formula in that process we can have b delta v upon v naught which is equals to p we can neglect the negative sign for calculations the significance of the negative sign is to show that as p increases the volume decreases so then delta v will become p v naught upon the bulk modulus the pressure for this question multiplied by the original volume which is 0 0.5 upon the bulk modulus which is 7.7 .7 exponential 9 so upon your calculator we should have something of this nature 0 0.00129 which is the same thing as which is approximated as 0 0.0013 meter cube okay in some problems in some problems if it's a theoretical problem you may include the negative sign and eventually you will have minus 0.0013 meter cube then you should indicate after getting the negative sign you should tell the examiner that the negative sign infer that the volume is decreased so but in this question the options that we have for this question do not have negative signs at all so and that's why i neglected the negative sign from the beginning of the calculation all right. and since the problem they already asked for the decrease in volume decrease in volume means they already know it is a negative it's negative so those is the answer now let's solve another practice problem okay given the bulk modulus when a pressure of this so we know the applied pressure and we know the relationship bulk modulus is given as P upon delta V V naught to find the volume the change in the volume or the increased volume which is delta V then we'll have something of this nature we can make delta V the subject of the formula so that delta V P V naught upon B. So in this case, the pressure that is applied, which is 1.8 mega, which is exponential 6, 
multiplied by multiplied by the original volume which is one liter the original volume is one liter one liter is equal to Q so we have 1000 upon the bulk modulus is 1.3 gig 1.3 gig does exponential 9 as a result if you do this on your calculator you should have 1.38 meter cube or if you want to convert it to liters then you should have then we should divide by 1000 since it's in meter if we divide it by 1000 that will be equal to 0 0.00138 yeah so which is the same thing as 1.38 milliliter okay all right let's solve another practice problem all right um, a fractional change in the volume implies this this is fractional change that's the expression for that word fractional change the change upon the original then it has been given as one percent and one percent is one over hundred which is point zero one the pressure is this applied pressure so we need to find the bulk modulus the bulk modulus we know the relationship is uh, P upon the fractional change in the volume so we already know this we know this so very simple we can find two exponential 7 upon the fractional which is 0 0.01 so we we'll eventually have two exponential nine and the unit is pascal or newton per meter squared is the same the question says we should find the compressibility factor compressibility factor is the reciprocal of the bulk modulus so we have something of this nature exponential nine so if we do that correctly then you should have 5 exponential minus 10 if the unit of this is newton per meter squared then the unit of this will be meter squared per newton okay you watch the next video in the next video I will be solving problems on shear modulus.